So today it's time to talk about one of my most anticipated 4K releases of the year. That is my favorite Tim Burton movie, Sleepy Hollow from 1999. Or as Christopher Lee says in the film, Sleepy Hollow. Sleepy Hollow. Have you heard of it? How's it going everyone? Welcome again to the Cobwebs channel. My name is Daniel and yeah, I'm here to show off and talk to you about this brand new steelbook of the 4K release of Sleepy Hollow from Paramount. This is probably the most unique steelbook I have ever bought and that could be both a good thing and a bad thing. We're gonna get into all of it today. And this movie is very special to me and you know it is because I went out to Best Buy day one to pick this thing up and I really don't do that very often. But the Sleepy Hollow Story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving, is one of my favorite short stories of all time, possibly my all-time favorite short story. I love it so much, and I love so many different adaptions of the Sleepy Hollow story. I'm just so attracted to this classic story about this isolated farming community in the 1700s, full of all of these people that believe in ghosts and witches and spooky things in the night, but most of all, they believe in a headless horseman who rides among the woods and Ichabod Crane comes into town and ends up having a fatal encounter with the headless horseman. It's just such an amazing classic story. I love the Disney version from the 1940s and I love this version so much even though it is so different. Yeah, Tim Burton makes quite a few changes to the story. He turns Ichabod Crane into a police constable instead of a school teacher so that he can make the movie kind of a murder mystery and have Ichabod Crane be an outsider coming in to solve these murders. And even though you know the murderer is, of course, the Headless Horseman, I mean, come on, the movie does a good job of throwing in enough twists and turns to keep you guessing as you go. I really do love the cast. I do love Johnny Depp as Ichabod Crane. Love Christina Ricci as Katrina. They really expand her role from the original story, and they even make her something of a good witch. The whole witchcraft element added to this movie is really, really cool. She is one of my favorite actresses from the 90s, 2000s. I mean, with the Adams family and Casper. She's just such a staple of spooky kid stuff from that time and she's great in this. The movie has a fantastic bench of great supporting actors. These older actors like Michael Gambon, Jeffrey Jones, Ian McDermott, Michael Goff, even Christopher Lee. All these fantastic actors making up the leaders of Sleepy Hollow. It's the atmosphere of the movie and the period recreation that's so amazing in this movie. Now the film is incredibly muted in color and because of that, I actually wasn't a huge fan of this the first time that I saw it because when I went into this movie, I heard that it was Tim Burton's homage to Hammer, to classic Hammer films. And I'm a huge fan of Hammer films. And when I watched it, I was really thrown off by how muted the colors were, almost like this is a black and white film. And I'm really attracted to the bright, vivid colors of Hammer films. And I didn't understand why he made that choice. And I'm still not entirely sure, but I do think it ended up being a really good decision because this is an amazing looking movie with practical sets. I mean, they built an entire town. They built in, they built the woods in this movie to create this entire fairy tale like world of Sleepy Hollow. There's jack-o'-lanterns all around, just fog and creeping trees. And the Headless Horseman is just like one of the coolest slashers of all time, if you want to call him a slasher. A dude with no head riding in with a sword and a horse. Just one of my favorite visuals of all time. I don't understand why Spirit Halloween doesn't have tons of Sleepy Hollow and the Headless Horseman stuff, they really, really should. I just think this is a great movie. I think it's fun, it's exciting, it's violent. I love that they went with an R rating for this because Tim Burton did not make very many R-rated movies. And I love that they went there for this because all the decapitations, this movie really needed that. Action-packed, great actors, one of my favorite movies of all time, honestly. Now let's get into this steel book. Now, interesting thing about it, is it doesn't latch like a normal steelbook. It's totally unlatched because when you open it up, you will find the original story, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by Washington Irving. So this is kind of like a mix between a steelbook and a digibook because it's got pages inside and you can actually read the original Sleepy Hollow story and I highly recommend you do if you haven't. And it's full of stills from the actual movie, which is interesting because the movie is so different than the original story. They don't match up very well, but there you go. Now for me, I do question why 
why they included the original story in here like this. To me, it would be one thing if it was like uh, essays about the movie, production notes, something like that. Then it's like a kind of a normal digi book. But with just the original story, I don't think I'm ever going to read the story using this Blu-ray steelbook, you know, it's, it's not very practical. It's kind of cumbersome to handle. And, um, I think I would just much rather hold an actual book. And also right now, these days, my favorite way to consume this story is to take a walk in nature, uh, during the fall season when that crisp fall air is hitting me and there's leaves on the ground. I like to take a walk and listen to the audio version of it. I highly recommend doing that. If you haven't yet, it's a great, just a great fall activity. So so that's probably how I'm going to enjoy the story this year. Um, and I don't think I'm ever going to pull this off my shelf and read the story this way. So it feels a little bit useless to me. It's kind of aesthetically cool, but it does feel a little bit useless to me. So like I said, this is probably the most unique steelbook I own, but I don't know if that's entirely a good thing. Now, when you turn these, there you've got the disc, but you've actually got two discs because they're stacked on top of each other, which I'm not a huge fan of. And this material that they're housed in, I don't think I've ever seen like a professional Blu-ray release housed in something like this. It's like mesh styrofoam or something like that. It's not hard plastic at all. See that? It's, it's very odd. I've really never, like I said, I've never seen a a professional Blu-ray release use something like this. And um, I don't know about it, honestly. Now the discs are double stacked. You can take them out there. You've got the 4K disc there. And there you've got the regular Blu-ray disc. Now I popped in the Blu-ray disc. It appears to just be an old version of the Blu-ray. Um, it's not a new pre. It doesn't seem to be a new Blu-ray with the 4K scan on it. Judging by the datedness of the commercial that comes on when you put it in about how great Blu-ray is. And the menu is completely different than the menu on this. I think it's just the old Blu-ray release that they threw in. So this is the new content that you're getting right here, the 4K transfer. And the 4K transfer itself, it looks great. I mean, this is a great looking movie, probably kind of hard to mess up. Looks fantastic, sounds fantastic, absolutely no complaints with the 4K. At this point, this steelbook is probably kind of hard to come by, but you can easily get the regular slipcovered edition. I saw that slipcovered edition at Best Buy when I went there. It's nice. It's got the original poster as the cover, but I just think this looks way cooler than the poster of just Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci's faces. There you got the Headless Horseman with his sword. He looks amazing. On the back there, you've got the tree, the spooky bleeding tree from the movie that's so awesome. For special features, there's a 30 minute making of doc on here that is pretty good. I would say all of the talking heads with all the actors talking about the movie is pretty surface level stuff. You're gonna hear a lot of them say, it's amazing that this movie is both scary and funny over and over again. That comes up a lot. That seems to be the main fluff line for the promotion of the film. Uh, but it's the, the content on the effects work I thought was really special because they show that so much of this movie is practically done. The Headless Horseman is a stuntman. They just put a blue cap over his head and just removed it digitally. He's a stuntman. Uh, they, like I said, they built the entire town. It's a set. They built the woods. That's a set. The decapitated heads are actual prosthetics that they made. And it really just makes you you nostalgic for a time when a big studio movie like this would be made and be packed with practical effects. Of course, this movie does have a little bit of digital effects and they do get into that there, but it's so packed with practical stuff. And I think that's one of the things that makes this movie so special. I mean, they got a real filmmaker to put everything he had into adapting a classic story. And I just wish that kind of thing happened more often. There's also a 10 minute documentary where they're just kind of talking about the movie documentary, 10 minute featurette, but they're just talking talking about the movie more in general. That one is okay. And then there is a feature length commentary from Tim Burton. I'm so happy to own this. I was so happy to rewatch it last night. I watched this movie at least once every Halloween season. Gets me into the spirit like few other things can. If you want to take a recommendation, I would say watch this, but pair it with the Disney version from the 1940s, the half hour Disney short from the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. That would just make a perfect double feature. Like I said, Sleepy Hollow, one of my favorite stories. Headless Horseman, one of my favorite characters of all time. Love this so much. So thank you so much for watching. 
watching my review of the Sleepy Hollow Steelbook. Uh, give a like if you enjoyed it and a subscribe for more videos like this. If you enjoyed this, you might enjoy a video I did recently on my top 15 witch films of all time. You can check that out on my channel. Thank you so much for watching. With all that said, don't forget to enjoy yourself today. Have some fun this September and I will see you next time.